Well, welcome back. March 14th, another episode of Chasing Red. Hope you guys enjoyed the first episode there down in Florida with Chad. I'm back in Iowa because of the fact that the rain was supposed to be pretty bad the next couple of days in Mississippi. So we pulled an audible, came back to Iowa. Drake and I just got done doing some shed hunting this morning. Was able to find a good antler to a buck that I know. And now we are headed to Nebraska. I'm currently waiting on Drake. He's packed up and heading my way. So in the meantime, before we head over there, we're going to jump to the second hunt we had in Florida. Trevor, Chad's buddy, was able to tag a good bird, complete a slam, and then when we come back, we're going to be headed to Nebraska. So hope you guys enjoy this episode. Appreciate the support. Let's jump to it now. <laughs> just got glimpses of a strutter out here in this opening with a hen. So we got a lot of wind, they're walking away from us, and there's a bunch of cover in between. So we're hoping that we can get in this shooting distance. Trevor's gotta make it happen. We got to complete this slam, so we're gonna, we're gonna go. Let's go, go brother. Do it right there, son. Let's go. Hey. hey. What chance, eh? Hey? Hell goes right. <laughs> Atypical. Hey. Had to make it happen, man. Hold on. <laughs> hey. Peek around with that gun up, brother. That's it, baby. <laughs> hey, congrats on that grand slam. I'm telling you, baby. Took a few years. We had to close a hundred yards through some brush and it you. He got behind one clump of trees. We got that wind. We got the wind. Oh. Hey, dude. 
tagged out in Florida, baby. South Florida swamp bird can't handle Mississippi. Let's go. Ain't nothing like that feeling, man. Man, got it done. Tag of the year, punched. Let's go. Buddy, we got bird down. Let's go. Woo. Unbelievable, boys. Unbelievable. Thank you, Lord. You deserve the most appreciation than anybody. Thankful for the opportunity. That was gorgeous. That was unbelievable. That was beautiful. Unbelievable. Gosh. I guess this is first interview, first chasing red, first turkey trip of the season today, March 14th. Well, first one for me, second one for you. Yeah, I've already seen two birds die. Hopefully third kill for you tomorrow morning, but we're headed to Nebraska. This is a place that I've hunted for the last, well, minus the last five years before that, probably the 12 years before that. Spent a lot of time there. I'm about to get our food here. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I you <laughs> well, um, that's how we're starting it. Culver's. Anyway, Nebraska, first trip of the year. Haven't been there in six years. Very excited to get back. We've killed a lot of turkeys out here. Bunch of hardwoods, um, Indian reservation. That's it. Wide open hardwoods. It's uh, timber birds. They're probably going to be flocked up. It's raining today gonna be sunny and 57 tomorrow so it should be pretty good that's why we're uh, booking it out there for opening day stay tuned turkey season 2024 is underway all right we have arrived Nebraska park the truck and walk down one of these logging roads a bunch of roads cut through all this all this hardwood timber and uh, we're walking up on some scratch and just, you know, some spots that we had before. And uh, it's funny, I was telling Josh, all my pins are from Google. This was a pre-Onyx hunt app, hunting out here, so gonna have to transfer some pins, but Josh just said that he heard, maybe heard a couple of hints down here, off in the distance, so it's quiet, the rain moved out. this early season it opens tomorrow so you know we're on the reservation so the seasons are different than you know statewide yeah Ooh, was that a gobble over here too Really, what you want to hear when you're, when you're trying to raise turkeys, but they are got one to it. We got at least a couple birds got one way down here in this in this big valley. Got a creek bottom down here. Josh heard some got when we did hear some hens fly out. Probably a big flock down here. So we may come back in the morning and just walk this road and either dump off this side or this side. Feels good to hear a got one turkey though. creek and I think we're just gonna get out, get in the creek first thing in the morning and see how tight we can get to them like I said these turkeys once they hit the ground they shut up I mean it's still early season they get with their hands and then it's over and then they just go and go and go so the closer we can get to them or off the roost the better off we're gonna be so these are still screaming over here do we not just freaking Get in this corner. I, know. I just worry if we're if we're here, 
and they do go off that way. We're not going to be able to move. They are going up a hill if they go that way. You see that? They make up, you know, right down and feet right down below us with all these scratches. You'd think they'd stay low for at least right out the rim. It'd be a sick hunt if we could just set up right here <laughs> with the decoy. <laughs> Trying to decide if we're going to set up on the south side of the field or the north side of the field. I'm thinking north side. It may be a, uh, a game time decision as we walk in there. just haven't quite decided yet. It's a, we're danged if we do, we're danged if we don't. So we got turkeys, we got good weather. That's all we can ask for at this point. Hopefully we can make it happen. It looks good. Sounds good. Plans Feels good. good. Is it good? Mm. Roosted, roasted. Ro is roosted, roasted? And most of the time, that is no. Let <laughs> 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 me be brutally honest here. Roosted is never roasted. Maybe 30% of the time. So, hey, we'll take the 30% if we get it this morning, though. All right. Let's send her. Let's get in there. Let's do it. Opening day. Ooh, they're blue, nice. I feel like there's always more pressure when you have them roosted. Oh yeah. yeah like it's just like, I've been staying up all night thinking about south side of the field, north side of the field, and I still haven't decided. Mm -hmm. See what happens. see him up there on top of that hill. We can't do anything. Oh, that's another flat in there. <laughs> Can they see him strapping up there? Yeah. yeah. He's looking. We can't compete. Do yeah. some time. Yeah, I see. The gobblers ain't said a word from sitting on the ground. See, that's the flat, huh? Coming or not? I mean, they're walking that edge. I can't tell if they're coming, but. Right. 
Come on, boy. There's nothing to say they don't work this way, you know? Mm -hmm. Oh, buddy. We got some coming down the hill, bro. Do we? Those that long group, that, Those groups. Yeah, I see them going to the left. Are they coming? I, don't, I mean, I don't know, but it sure looks like the direction they come. Like the... I don't think there's anything, any such thing as overcalling today. They might come down here. They might chase each other around too, I don't know. I don't think they're in a bad spot. Mm -mm. They're coming down the hill. Yes. To the left, aren't they? Yes, they are. <laughs> Dog, they're coming. Come on, you pretty sucker. Yeah, they're coming. Got all these turkeys. Pitch down on this little flat. We're starting to work some long bears. A group of three or four of them are starting to come down into this creek bottom that me and Josh are in. Off the whole flat, dude. Yeah. We originally set up in the CRP and I just with a gut feeling these turkeys always just fly down in the woods so they're starting to come off this ridge the whole flock's coming down in here so we're in a good spot good little foam hopefully we can fish it off can you see them behind those leaves and run down that's what I say you tell me about yeah. your left yeah Still on the hill. No, straight ahead, straight ahead. But in the bottom? Yeah. That's okay. That's it. Like that, uh, where you were saying those leaves? Mm hmm. They're right below them. Okay, I can't across the creek right now. Okay. There they are. See? Mm -mm. White heads, right of the leaves, walking. Like, look at the horizon in the creek. Yeah. Walking to the right. All of them. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Look at this one flying to us. There's one strutting, I'll shoot it. I see four in front of us. So. Yeah. I'm just saying, if they come and one's in strut, I'll shoot the strutter. You think you'll shoot the strutter? Yeah. I'm gonna come around this blow down. I'll be right in my lap. I gotta get across that water.
Maggie. That's all right. He's in the creek. Yeah. Mm -hmm. he, you good if he pops out. Oh, man. You see the I have to, right? You get on the lead one? On the lead? Yeah. yeah. Nebraska season, maybe. Got a long beard right here. Dude. That was epic. Let's go, baby. It's freaking moving. That little rise right there got us. I thought they were going to pop them and come right up to it. They came enough. Could not have worked any more perfect. Let's go! <laughs> you want to see this? Oh, baby. Hey. Let's go, brothers! First kill of the year. Let's go! This is the first time me and Josh have turkey hunting together since 2018. Freaking now. Let's go! Beautiful. <laughs> I mean, beautiful. Look at our shell over here. First verdict of the year, baby. Let's go. Damn. Look at the sunrise. Look at it all. The sun ain't even come up and we're tagged out. We got one on the ground. This worked like a freaking perfect. Josh and I literally started right here above us. And I was like, dude, I just I got a feeling that they're not going to come in this. CRP field, these, these turkeys always just use these bottoms and, and everything, and they're just, they're just timber birds. And so I was like, man, we gotta, we gotta loop back around. So we set up up top, and then we looped all the way back around, came down this creek. All these turkeys were roosted right here on this little mound. They pitched down on that little flat, and they all started working straight down this, this bottom. They're still yelping out there. Oh, I'm shaking that one. What we come out here for early season flocked up turkeys you just got to be you got to be where they want to go and i mean i think that was the key to this one man was was being in this in this big creek bottom that just you know funneled them down down to us early season turkeys man that's that's tough calling out them trying to get them to do what you want just because there's so many of them i bet we had i don't know 15 or so long beards probably total and they're I making mean, 20 or 30 hands but first Tag of the year, punched, let's go. Came out on a whim. We had one good day before we could hunt. Ooh, we're gonna have a wet gobby here. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> oh, he is soaked, of course. Come here, big boy. Soaking wet gobby, first one of the year, let's go. <laughs> well, we got birds flying <laughs> Let's go. Right down the lane, we got our first turkey of the year, man. I'm freaking ecstatic. Let's go. All the gut. Yes. What was the gut feeling? I was standing in that field with the decoys, and I was like, this is a turkey looking at it. Still got one. We got another tag, but. Perfect, too. Mm -hmm. well, if you want, if you can handle me at my best, you can handle me at my worst. This is getting close to my worst. Because we are trucking up this hill. But I don't know what else you're looking for out of me right now. But, uh, I'm ready for a cup of coffee and maybe a donut from Casey's or something.